The world was a fairly equal place till about 500 years ago. It has become a much more unequal world since capitalism came into its own and capitalism became imperialist and colonialist. So the beginnings of this inequality between countries and also inequalities and poverty within countries, especially in what are called the developing countries today, lie in industrial capitalism and the spread of industrial capitalism through colonization because the objective of colonization was extraction from the colonized countries. Those are the historical roots of poverty today. But how does one explain the fact that poverty is still persistent even 50 years, 60 years, 70 years after the colonizer left? So those are the questions that one has to look at. And it's the reason why it's persistent is a failure of policy, both global policies as well as national policies. You see, the international evidence is quite clear that there are many high achieving developing countries which manage to reduce poverty early in their development process. The high achieving countries in Asia are Korea, Taiwan, Malaysia. In South Asia, the high achieving states or countries were Sri Lanka and the state of Kerala in India. Similarly, in Latin America, poverty was dramatically reduced by Costa Rica in Latin America and Cuba. Now, what is common to most of these countries is a focus on health and education and the development of human capital in a way that other countries did not. More recently, if there has been a dramatic decline since uh, the 2000s in poverty, it is, on a, it is explained by the success of China and of India. These are large countries which have very successfully reduced poverty on a, on a massive scale. Uh, and as a result, global poverty has been falling. And uh, now poverty is very much an African phenomenon. There are at least three or four ways in which the Sustainable Development Goals post 2015 can be helpful. Firstly, we know that it would focus attention again of the industrialized countries on ODA. The African countries, as I said, are still in urgent need of ODA. So it would focus attention on that. ODA has not been increasing after the global economic crisis. Secondly, it would focus the attention of the world on improving the database for monitoring improvements in human well-being because that's a, a relative failure of the MDGs. A third area of focus must be climate change because this didn't figure at all in the MDGs because there's a lot of um, fo needs to be a lot of focus on climate change because that's impacting the most poor people in South Asia as well as in Africa who are dependent upon agriculture where the rains have become much more uh, uncertain. But above all, you know, the focus of developing country governments must be to ensure that people move out of agriculture, that industrial policy that was very successful in improving outcomes in China and in India are adopted across South Asia and across Africa where most of the, the poverty of the world is currently concentrated.